This poem is for everyone. <clears throat> I will no longer make eye contact with lone, nervous, white female strangers in ghetto neighborhoods or situations. I am not your savior, not my job to make you feel comfortable around small groups of young black men gazing in your general direction. Don't ask me meaningless, disingenuous questions just to make conversation. Someone made me this bracelet. No, I'm not cold at all, and I don't know anything about the fries. I suggest you ask someone who works here. I do not, despite involuntary ethnic appearance of natural compliance and servitude. Let both of us no longer be rude to each other and simply walk away from unnecessary and inappropriate interactions. I focus on controlling my breath when alone in elevators with clusters of scared Caucasians, my intrusion causing all conversation to cease. I keep my eyes lowered to the floor. Sometimes I clutch my purse and grind my teeth. I intentionally allow unwarranted feelings of intimidation toward me. I'm five foot three, 100 pounds of very black rebel militant revolutionary unpredictability. I see the fear in your eyes, the expectation of hostility, and I've chosen not to make you feel better about it. Allow you instead to inhale your own irrational doubts and baseless fears and exhale the oxygen-rich breathing space I need. I stand near enough for you to smell my subtle stench of righteous indignation. It overwhelms me, seeps through my pores like cheap vodka or poverty-induced anxiety, and the shower wouldn't wash it away. You can choose to forgive me or not. It's hard out here to maintain compassion and composure in the face of bold obtuseness and self-imposed ignorance, when people who look alike keep asking the same questions over and over again. It's annoying that you won't talk to each other or take our word for it. I don't wonder why you're afraid of black people or what you expect from me. We have passed down a profound knowledge of white people, generationally, for safety. Keeps our children from being beaten down in the street, or being surrendered to the police, or having their feelings hurt at the grim reality of their role in this society. It's the type of knowledge that is acquired from hundreds of years of being maids and butlers and cooks and valets and mammies and wet nurses and slaves. It is this knowledge that keeps our insides free. And every day, I have to go out here and be black in America and explain once again that which is continually misunderstood and ignored, myself. And my response to any white person who feels an unbearable pang of discomfort at yet another confrontational African-American aggressively expressing exasperation at the current ongoing situation is this. Racism should make every one of us uncomfortable every day all the time, not just me.